We're here at the 20th edition of Art Basel, which has grown to be now known as Art Miami Week, because in addition to this fabulous exhibition here in the convention hall, there are 14 other satellite shows and a couple of hundred artists displaying their work. And for the next few days, Miami Beach is the center of the art world. Standing next to me is Lucy Sparrow. And as a little girl, she loved McDonald's. And she loved it so much that she brought it to Art Basel. Yes, uh, I'm an artist. Uh, I make things out of felt. Uh, the subject this year is McDonald's, and it's based on a childhood memory. And what do you remember? Uh, I remember my mum taking me to McDonald's for the first time. Uh, when I was six years old uh, and it was very fond memories of uh, growing up in Somerset. Well, how long have you been planning this and how long did it take? Um, it took about six months and I've been planning it about six months. Uh, it's, it's amazing because it looks so real. Anyway, it, congratulations. This is really an amazing exhibition. This is Sid Daniels, and Sid Daniels has been a friend of mine since I've been in Miami 25 years. And that's not his claim to fame. Sid Daniels is an outstanding artist. Well, this one is inspired, it's called Kalamazoo Number 2, inspired by the song I've uh, Got a Gal from Kalamazoo. All of my work has that feeling in it, but it's mostly Brazilian inspired. Uh -huh. Like Carmen Miranda's movie, The Gang's All Here, she was in New York with, in that uh, scene and um, with the platform shoes and everything. So my work is really about the Brazilian influence in New York in the 1940s and all over the, all over the country at that time. So who were the influencers uh, at that time that inspired you? Sid, uh, Sid Charisse, Carmen Miranda, uh, Judy Garland, June Allison, uh, Gene uh, Kelly, all the movies in the 1940s. So why am I attracted to that, you may ask me that? Because um, I'm from another era. I mean, I was born in the 1950s, and where everybody was listening to the Beatles, but I wasn't buying Beatles albums, I was buying big band music. When I'm working on my art, I listen to that music. I want to thank you very much for giving me a little bit of your time on camera. I appreciate it. And we'll have a lot more time off camera. I enjoy. I would enjoy that. Thank you so much, Stuart. Okay. First thing, say your name and spell it. Yeah, Butch Anthony. B U T C H A N T O. Oh, <laughs> and from Jennifer, Seal, Alabama. Oh, Jennifer Donaldson, J E N N I F E R D O N A L D S O N. When I was about 14, I found a dinosaur bone in the creek. A whole dinosaur. One of the first dinosaurs ever found in Alabama, so I got into bones. So when I was a teenager, I filled my whole room up with all kind of bones. Was that the only dinosaur bones you found, or was there no, like no, a cemetery more. there? Yeah, no, it was like a dinosaur graveyard where I lived. Well, what was your reaction when you first realized this is a dinosaur bone? Oh yeah, I didn't really know what it was, but I called some professors from Auburn University and they came over. And then they got me to go all over with them, all over the country, digging up bones. So I even went to Auburn to study, to be a paleontologist, but then I got into being a painter. But I was painting bones on all these thrift store paintings I found in a junk store. And I, now I'm in Miami. She sells all my stuff. This is Jennifer. I'm not good with money stuff, so she does all that. Oh, well that, somebody has to. Someone's got to do it. I handle all the museums and all the galleries and, every, and all the website stuff. Do you so like? He gets to create. Do you like doing that? I do. Now I'm getting into making these big quilts. Last year I had a big quilt hanging in the front of the uh -huh. show up here, made out of bones. It was ten feet by ten feet. 
to sell them to museums. And, uh... It weighs about 300 pounds. <laughs> well, I want to thank you guys for stopping by for a moment. All right, well, thanks for inviting yeah. okay. us down here. components to it. And one of the best is the breakfast on Saturday at the Sagamore Hotel, where I bumped into these two people. This is Bibi, and this is Rudolph. Bibi is one of the artists participating in Miami Art Week, but she's doing it a little differently. You have five trucks roaming around. Yes, Rudolph came up with a concept called Expo Metro. Uh, and he replaces ads with art on billboards. And so for the Miami Beach edition, he came up with the concept of five mobile uh, billboards. How did you come up with this concept? Okay, so basically uh, back in the days I was living in Paris and I was walking around the, in the metro, in the subway in Paris. And I was looking at those awesome huge billboards that looked absolutely beautiful, but inside you had advertising. So I always had this dream of replacing ads by art. And I was trying to find a solution on how to do that. So on one day I decided to do a little crowdfunding and I asked a few artists, hey, do you want to participate? And in a month, I had almost 400 artists from about 30 countries from around the world participating in the first Expo Metro that happened in the center of Paris. And this is how it all began, right? With a vision. You are one of the busiest people on the beach. <laughs> what else do you have going on? You have BB and Friends? The Adventures of BB and Friends is coming out with a new book. Look for it in late January. That's, that's great. And I want to thank you guys so much for giving me the time. Thank you so thank much. You. sure that one of the crown jewel events of Art Basel Week, when it was Art Basel Week, and now Miami Art Week, is the breakfast brunch at the Sagamore Hotel. This hotel has been doing this for years, and it's one of the highlights for everybody who is anybody, and they want to meet up one more time. This is the place to do it. Thank you from the people of Miami Beach for this event. I love it every year, and I look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you for coming. We'll be here next year. Looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you. We do uh, art programming uh, 365 days a year. It's not limited to one day a year, but we celebrate today. So come and see us at the Sagamore. And enjoy the art. Do some selfish buy art. You can do that too in the Sagamore and support the artist community in Miami. I'm all for that.